Thank you very much, uh, Rosie. Um, very good point. <laughs> Um, it's a great pleasure to be here. Normally when I'm behind a microphone I'm talking about a book or joining some heated debate about something. Um, but um, in the last few months or a year or so, uh, uh, my life has been rather hijacked by music and I find myself thrilled to be singing songs rather than talking about books. And tonight I'm going to sing um, three of my songs. <laughs> Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, je vous souhaite la bienvenue. Je m'appelle Guy Whittingham Smith, comment allez-vous? Je vais chanter une chanson, if you please. About how me and the wife found a new life in Saint-Sulpice. Les deux églises, I'm at our little café. With my better half She's got a cafe au lait I'm on a demi-carafe We've told all our friends About our vie en rose How tout va bien How je ne regret rien But you regret Une petite chose I'd rather be French it's strange, but it's true. I wish I could feel more at home, more chez nous. I'd rather be French, s'il vous plaît. Uh, drinking the wine and everything's fine. A tray genuine, Brit Francais. Lay Whittingham Smiths have come a long way. These days we do things we wouldn't dream of doing back in the UK. But we've played our part, we've done more than enough. Had dull kids, dull jobs, retired, then buggered off, but now that we're here, we're but Twixt and between Reading our Daily Express Down by the piscine We've tried to forget Our background and class But we seem out of place With a look on our face Like a baguette's stuck up our ass. I'd rather be French I'd be having a ball with a French wife, a French mistress, French morals, that's none at all. I'd rather be French, s'il vous plaît. And nothing's taboo, je m'en fous, merci beaucoup, Brit Francais. So it's adieu dinner parties, adieu crap food, adieu inviting them back for fear of being rude. And your cues onto the M25, cause when you're abroad, you're truly alive. Adieu hoodies, adieu warm beer, adieu I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Adieu guilt about this and that, cause there's no one as free as a true expat. The French histoire may not be Gloria. When it comes to the stiff upper lip, they may, may be lacking umper. But there's this to be said about La Belle France. In war, they may retreat on their little French feet, but in peace, they always advance. And so here we are at our little cafe, trying to blend, but somehow unmistakably Anglais. Somehow we don't fit in the way that we ought. With our amber solaire and our casual wear, 
of sandals, white socks and shorts, we'd rather be French, be au naturel. Let that sad little island up north go straight to hell, but we'll never be French, say triste, may say vrai. Just a sun in the sky, watching life slip by, waiting to die. Brit Francais, say très, très vrai, avec un tasse de thé. Say très, très vrai. N'est-ce pas? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, what I've been doing recently is uh, we put on a show of uh, politically incorrect music at the King's Head Theatre in Islington. We're going to the Hay Festival at the end of this month. Um, myself with a, another guitarist and a brilliant young singer called Victoria Hart. Um, but when I was preparing this, uh, this show earlier in the year, someone pointed out that we're offensive to almost every part of the demographic except one. So I, I wrote this song in the sense of sort of BBC type balance. Let me take you to a smoky little dive. I was rocking the joint, I was keeping that music live. Let me show you a girl in tight jeans. Standing nearby, surveying the scene, she had a kind of hungry look in her eye. Let me confess, I thought I'd chance my hand. I asked that girl if she'd like to hang out with the band. She looked at me, and the look on her face said I wasn't just a loser, I wasn't even in the race. She said, Grandpa, I'll say this slow, so you understand. Everywhere I go, in all the bars, I see sad old bastards with guitars, singing out their youth, at least they try. With their big guts sagging and their bald heads shining, seeing high hole fucking silver lining. They're everywhere and nowhere, baby. I wish they'd die. Let me tell you that night I was home alone. Those cruel words had just chilled me to the bone. I looked across at my CDs. They all just seemed to cough and wheeze. I was looking at a musical old folks home. I went to the kitchen and I turned on my radio. The DJ was playing some kind of golden oldies show. He said, now kids, isn't it great to hear another fab hit from 68? I heard a little voice in my head. She said, uh, no. Everywhere I go, in all the bars, I see sad old bastards with guitars singing out their youth. At least they try With their big guts sagging And their bald heads shining See high old silver lining They're everywhere and nowhere, baby I wish they'd die Asleep, and in my dream, I came across 
the strangest scene. There was Buddy and Lennon and George and the King. They were strumming guitars and harmonizing. They were like rock and roll angels sitting on a cloud. They were playing it long. They were playing it loud. They sang Stairway to Heaven, knocking on heaven's door. Then the voice of the Lord said, One, two, three, four. Everywhere I go, in all the bars, I see saddle bosses with guitars singing out there. You. At least they try With their big guts sagging And their bald heads shiny Singing hi-ho silver lining They're everywhere and nowhere, baby Wish they'd die Thank you very much. Thank you. As, as Rosie very kindly, um, very kindly pointed out, uh, I have got a small number of CDs for sale, which I've done with our band. But the bookshop downstairs has a sort of apartheid system where they have no music, just books. And I suddenly feel rather aggrieved. Um, but um, I have a tiny number if anyone wants to um, um, uh, buy them for a tenner. be very appreciated. Um, this is the last uh, song. This is a song I wrote... Um, uh, Actually, a few years ago, it's a little, a little, rather more tender. Do you remember the evening, the star-spangled evening we met? You looked in my eyes and you smiled. I was lost. It was fate, it was chance, it was love's crazy dance, it was kismet. We could have danced until dawn, but we both had a better idea. And later that night, sooner than was polite, we made love. We clung to each other on a storm-tossed sea of desire. We loved and we laughed until our bodies were aching. You said, don't say it, but I said it again and again. I told you our love was unique, it transcended desire. For me, you were love's highest peak, and I'd never try climb higher. It was faith, it was trust, it was much more than lust, it was forever. We'd be there for each other, together for all time. But I lied, some of the things that I said were words that come into your head when you're happy undressed and in bed Yes, I lied I forgot that when you're lovelorn each sunrise contains a false dawn So I lied I never thought much to your novels by Louis de Bernier and Ravel's Bolero to me was frankly a bore. Your clothes buying sprees may be weak at the knees. Who needs fashion? You never look better than when you want nothing at all. Those evenings we spent watching films by foreign directors. All I could think of was what we'd be doing later on. Your health-giving foods, your impossible moods drove me crazy. Your opinions on saving the planet were frankly naive. So I lie for the pleasure of seeing you smile. I agreed with you all of the while 
and I lie. Yes, I lie, though I'd be the very last to disown you. You weren't my Everest, you were more like Snowdonia. So I lie. Well, I'm feeling much better now that the truth has been told. The fact is I could never imagine you and me growing old. We were ships in the night. It was good, it was right, but it's over. In a couple of months, I'll hardly remember your name. But I'm lying. Now that you've gone, I can see you're the blessed escapee. You, not me. Yes, I'm lying, flying before I'm discovered. Gone, the fugitive lover. My darling, would I lie? Thank you very much.